Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's time for a new box. Look, this one even says Fragile on it, and it's not destroyed, which is a nice, nice thing. This is a new 20-pound box out of shopgoodwill.com. This one is billed as mixed fashion jewelry. So, we'll, oh, that's a nice sign. Look at we have bubble wrap. Woohoo! Hand lined. This is awesome. This is a great start. All right, um, let's get on. Let's get unpacking, and we'll get started. Well, let's kick off this box with the brooches. This is really probably one of the best collections of brooches we've had in a really long time. Uh, you know, I love this heart, and this one here is Napier. This is just classic. I, you know what? This has beautiful little movement. Who wouldn't love? the little violin and then boy the rhinestones in here are popping and believe it or not we had even more look at this uh, look at the longhorn uh, this one is also going to be a pendant so you can wear this one both as a brooch or a pendant this gorgeous swan just very delicate and who does not love a dragonfly look at this in the blue I mean come on uh, this is definitely an older one. You can tell by the coloring and the construction, the hummingbird. And oh, look at the, the very delicate, articulated little angel. And then this southwestern beauty with the armadillo and the saguaro cactus. I mean, just, I, I am just shocked that we have this many brooches in one box. Well, let's stay in the theme. Uh, we ended up with some cufflinks that look brand new. Uh, these tiger's eye cufflinks, you know, these have the fold over. These look brand new. Uh, these look are in fantastic condition. And look at the sailboats. Aren't those cool? Uh, none of them are marked. And we have two enhancers. And these are perfect for wearing on scarves pearls, uh, you know, multitude of beautiful things you can make, you know, create that look with these two. And before we left the small smalls, let's take a look. We have two stretch rings. Aren't those great? This is like, a, you know, a faux diamond cluster ring. This one is like a starburst, so it has negative space. This one just has like a little enameled stone area. We have this cute puffy heart with the tiger striping going on or animal print. This one has beautiful floral in the middle. And then we ended up with a charm purse or purse charm. You know it's it's been a long day. Um, and this one is Kathy Van Zeeland. So you know you just never know what you're going to find in these boxes. Well, here is something we haven't seen in quite a few boxes. Look at all of the bangles we have in this one. We haven't seen any amount of bangles in a really long time, but and these are all really nice bangles. Look at these. And the plethora of bracelets continues. This is a really cool looking structured black metal with these cool inset rhinestones. We have this whole little group of tiny seed bead. And each one of these are, you know, individual little bracelets. And then this little group has almost like the mother of pearl look and really, really dainty. I think these are glass, they're so tiny. So you have this group. This is an actual memory bracelet with these gorgeous cat's eye in this kind of minty blue and this one is also a memory bracelet but look at all of these like free floating here they are let me see if I can turn some more around free floating rhinestones and then the gold tone and then this great faceted like burgundy this is a really nice one I tell you what and it continues hold on let me load up some more okay in this group we have a really cute little charm bracelet and it has all of these beautiful charms from Paris. Isn't that cute? This one has all kinds of rhinestone charms. 
with the hearts and the peace symbols. That's really cute too. This one is an, you know, an old-fashioned barrel clasp. And these have the little spacer beads and then the hematite beads. Really pretty. These two are both marked Avon. They're the same bracelet. And it you know, has that diamond look. So I don't know if these are actual just all faux diamonds. If maybe we have some quartz here or clear topaz, I'm not sure. But they're both pretty long. I mean, these probably are eight inch or better. This one is unmarked, but it has these adorable little purple rhinestones. And then, you know, the regular band on the bottom. And then it, you know, picks up on the top again. And then we have two that are like pen, um, like Alex and Ani style. This one is by uh, Love This Life, and it has the two hearts and the little clear crystal. And this one is just like a no name, so you know, like one where you could, you know, build your own. And this one has a daughter and earth angel, and then a little angel wing on there. So really nice selection here too. Now this group has definitely some really just elegant looking pieces. This one has a nice big Rolo with a cute little heart. This is a nice heavier fashion. Definitely know you're going to be wearing that. And same with this one. A lot of presents with both of these. Nice big lobster claw on this one. A little easier on and off. Okay, this one is just whimsical, and it says Happy Camper, obviously with the little campers. How cute is that? This one is not marked. It says it is the life you love. And this one here is a clamper, but it has the three little rhinestones, and it's an oval. It's not a round. And this one is not marked Joan Rivers, but... Boy, does it have a Joan Rivers look to it. It's missing a few rhinestones here and there, but with something this ornate, you don't really tend to see that too much. And then this is just a gorgeous stretch. And, you know, they're in different lengths. It has a little stretching. You know, I think it's a little stretched, but I think you could still wear it in the condition it's in. You could certainly restring that as well. And the variety just continues on. We have these two plastic bangles, but they have that nice swirl effect. This cute, look at these, aren't these adorable? Like the double-decker bus, the cute little charm bracelet from England. Of course, we found a, you know, just a kind of a standard rhinestone, but still really pretty though. Uh, this cute little cuff, rose gold. And this one, Live the life you love. This is a Pandora style charm with the little apples and the love. Maybe this was a teacher, maybe. These three have glass beads. And this one has, let me see if I can scoot it down a little small here. This one has the anchor and a little heart and a little glass bead. Certainly had some in the boho realm the cord and brass and some beautiful I love these wooden beads same thing with this cuff and all of the nice beads and they you know they have movement so they have a little little clank here a nice heavy metal beautiful one here I mean that's it's quite substantial on a braided cord and then this cute little one now aloha and the last in this group, oh, some really fun boho looking pieces. This one with the studs and that, that vibrant blue. We have two stretches in the, you know, all of the dyed shell. This one is super fun. This one, oh, the clankability is strong with this one. We have all these great little green, um, well, yeah, they're acrylic. And then the dyed shell, it's just a lot of fun. And this one says South Sur Genuine Freshwater Pearls. So it's a trio of pearls. So kind of a neat group. I think we had a great eclectic group of bracelets in this box. Well, since I mentioned boho, let's go through some of the ones that are just really nice in this box. 
Okay, how cute are the little pair of giraffes? Look at that. I love this little one. Nice, uh, I don't know, it's just got a nice little feel to it. So does this one. Um, you know, we see a lot of beautiful dyed shell, but this one has a, a luster that is just probably some of the, the best I've seen in a really long time. Uh, we had two other shell, let's see, we have these two, and you know, even though uh, not quite a match in the color, I think they actually go pretty nicely together, and this one is just fun, look at this, it's so cute. So we have the little rosettes, and then the little elephants. And they are all very, very uh, plastic. So no worries about anything being ivory or anything like that. We are talking full on like vending machine plastic. Okay, but so are these. At first I thought this group might be, um, ugh, the name of the shell is, or shell, the name of the nut that they dye all the time. But these feel very much like plastic. I mean, plastic, plastic but great color, the length is fabulous. I mean, this is dramatic without being overly, you know, in your face. Nice muted colors, I think that is a great piece. Okay, and this one, this one just goes on for days, and these are some form of seed, but ooh, it has a nice feel and nice clink. This group, look at these. Got all the color, all the variety. You've got iridescent and these look like little stones. Great combination. And this tag here says made in Japan. So here's this whole little group of these. Very colorful. And then this one is just, oh, is this gorgeous. Look at all these seed beads. Man, oh man, did that take some time. Look how many rows. I mean, that is a lot. This is a ton of beads. If you go like this, look how many <laughs> it would take to do that. I mean, that is just, that's a labor of love. And someone had fun. This is going to be and never ending, you know, the open-ended necklace. I'm always terrified that, you know, I would lose them, but they used these cute little green pearls and the little clear seed beads. It's a nice little presentation right here. Uh, but speaking of which, if we're gonna start transitioning, let's transition because this is both boho and gorgeous all at the same time. Got triple strand, beautiful glass beads. You've got the dyed shell and the dyed discs. Great clinkability on this one too. We have a little bit of the color wearing off, but you know, in something like this, that doesn't bother me. I think it just adds to the character of the piece. So this one has the glass beads. Let's transition in the glass. And some beautiful glass pieces were in this box, let me tell you. You know, this has one of the, you know, you've seen these around, they're standard, but this one has an outside edge and a little bit different swirling technique, and then the whole thing has a nice swoop to it. Love this one. It has these great amber colored foil glass beads, the larger cognac color, and then all of these nice pieces of tiger's eye. I mean, this is a really substantial piece. Okay, look at how much is going on here. A lot going on here. Then we go from that to something very, I mean, very classic. Could you just see this on maybe Christmas, New Year's? Just, oh, I just, on the skin. Mm, love that one. Love it. And look at these. We've got the great you know, squares and rectangles. And this one almost has like an animal print. 
and a few stone chips, uh, like, mm, you know, could be turquoise, and smoky quartz, and a couple that look like tiger's eye. So this one has a lot of nice color, too. Let me grab another one. Okay, this one has some length to it. Look at all that. So we have everything going on from little seed beads to, I think these are a beautiful, I mean, they're encased in this band here, but I think uh, it is one uh, ceramic bead. Then we have these cute little, almost like a foil effect in there. Dyed shell. Look at these dark, dark blue ones. That is a great, a great look. That has a lot going on here. This one, multi-strand, and then they come together where the glass beads are. And these are nice foil beads and swirls. So we have the tiny ones, the little oval ones, and then the discs. Great, great look here. Okay, and someone had told me um, like this was uh, not an evil eye, but this particular thing was more of a seer, you know, um, for good luck. And I thought this was really, I mean, this is thick. It's an interesting piece for sure. And we ended up with this one. So we have this enameled medallion. And then this has got beautiful gold swirls and then a few that look like artisan beads, but nice glass. And it has kind of that antique hammered look here. So it is a great boho piece too. And this one looks like maybe someone had constructed this, but look at all of these fun, funky AB purple beads. And it comes down to this drop here. Talk about fun. Oh, that'd be great for New Year's. And we have two pairs of alpaca. Both of these are marked alpaca with a white background and that leaf shell inlay. And then the green, is that not just gorgeous? I think those are both just fabulous. And then my favorite two, this is Paolo and this is SAL, which is the precursor to Swarovski. Look at that, how big those are. Oof. These are, mm-hmm, and so are these. These are nice and heavy. Both are post back. Okay, the one thing that you can never tell, you know, when you get these kind of things in the boxes or whether or not they're actually, you know, the cards that came on, but this says Amos Pewter. Those are really cute little butterflies. These ones claim to be mud. I really like the little enameling we have going on there. These ones are totally adorable. Someone had $11 on them with the little cowboy boots and the little stars. Cute, cute. These ones say Kennedy Row. And they were on clearance for $8.40. And then Billy Bob's Knobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Those are so funky cute. I really like those too. And they're clip ones. And these don't go so well in the bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and show them separately. These adorable little elephants where the head is the front and then the body is actually the back of the earring. These are by JJ. Are these adorable? Ugh. And then dyed shell. I would have, you know, given my eye teeth that these were marked. I can't find a mark on them, but they're nice and heavy, just gorgeous. We're going to see something that may match these ones later on. And these ones have some of the best clinkability. That has a great, great drop. Oh, and I almost forgot these two. This is made in Japan, this clip-on. And look what matches that really fun necklace from the beginning. We have the earrings. 
Oh, and we have these two fun things. Both of these brooches, this one and uh, this one, both Monet. And the matching earrings came with this one. I'm sure that one had earrings too, but we didn't receive them. We have these two. This looks so, you know, like 90s to me. But anyway, they're in really, really good shape uh, despite being in that box. And we were fortunate enough to receive several pieces that are marked Japan. This is a gorgeous triple strand of faux pearls. They're not glass, but they are, they are really, really brilliant. I love them. And now we have this triple strand. Look at the colors here. I mean, this is definitely kind of that 70s with that brown and the gold. My parents had several appliances in these colors. Look at this one with the butterfly painting, choker style. And these pearls are glass and they have that nice clasp. That is a great set. We had some beautiful small pieces too. We have this flower and the center looks like a piece of unikite. Very fashion, you know, just silver tone, lighter weight. And then of course we had two spirit animals. The first owl with the rhinestones, look at all the rhinestones, but all his feathers are articulated. And then this little guy is so lightweight, but he has just some of the brightest little rhinestones. Great little group here. Well, this group has a beautiful little rose gold fashion with tiny little rhinestones and a really cute little tassel. This one has a purple cabochon with a little tiny fox. This one has the three enameled pieces, the two hearts and the guitar. Has a, this one has a little sturdy flower. This has a faux opal, isn't that gorgeous, with a tassel and a really nice upgraded chain. And continuing on with the smalls, we have this one in the middle. It has a gorgeous like marquee rhinestone. Usually you don't see that. This has a really nice quality. It has that feel like an older Monet. It looks like it was going to be marked by somebody, but it turned out that it is not. This one is by VCLM. They have great rhinestones, and if you don't like the side, the other side is just the reverse with no rhinestones. It's a beautiful piece. This one is multi-strand. Let's put it through this way. Pull it through. Then it has that really long center with a great little rhinestone. Nice gold tone. This one is silver tone, nice long chain. Look at all of this. And it comes down to, watch this, but lots of bling here. This is a great, just a great chain. And it has kind of that antique gold look to it. This one is very unique. These are not rhinestones, they are cabochons. Is that just not fabulous? I haven't seen anything like that, so I just thought that was just cool beans there. Great statement piece here. A nice necklace that goes with it. I think this is your beautiful statement to ring in the new year. If that one was a little too flashy, look at this one. The chain is bigger and it has two triangle rhinestones in that, oh, that forest green. This one is more of a boho look. Like that one too. These are all just really, really different. And this one here, look at this one. This would be great for Christmas. You can tell on the back. I mean, it's definitely artisan made. Ugh. Loving that. Okay, this is super fun. It's long and it has these mint color, almost like a shamrock. Loving that. And then we have two pretty basic ones here. This is like a long, smaller 
faux pearl, but it has a lot of movement. A lot of times a pearl necklace will be very stiff. This one is not. And we have this cute little fashion black. Goes with that little black dress too. Okay, and we have a nice big statement piece. This one is certainly has some clankability. It has this great faceting. It's almost like rounds. Like round. I just I thought that was just really different. Okay, and now this one here. You have the multi-color. You've got kind of that copper, the bronze, the gold tone, and all of these different varying sizes, varying textures. This is a great piece too. This one, oh my word. That is long as all get out. And heavy, same thing with this one. I mean, these two are, look at these two. I'm talking massive, almost like belt. I mean, these are hefty, hefty, hefty pieces. Okay, we have to have one with, you can hear it already. This one has fabulous clankability. All of the varying discs. They all have almost kind of like that sand dollar look to them, which is kind of neat. All right, this one fights me like nobody's business. It also has clankability. It's lightweight. These are all very, very thin. So, you know, you're not really going to notice you're wearing it, but you're going to hear yourself wear it, that's for sure. It's beautiful. It has a very buttery gold tone to it. As with the last couple of boxes, we ended up with some beautiful beads at the bottom of the box. I think, I don't know, maybe these were together or these were together. They all have a similar style to them. These are beautiful. This kind of yellow-green combo, 7-Up. And these are little foil beads. Dark blue, almost like, you know, a London blue topaz. Mm-hmm and some silver findings. So nice little group in the bottom. In the craft, we have four pounds, seven ounces. We have everything in here from a little tiny watch, which would be great for steampunk, uh, you know, some ceramic and some glass and just, you know, miscellaneous stuff. So actually not too bad, we'll take it. We have a little deja vu going on. We have Avenue both in gold tone and silver tone. So obviously we're gonna move into some signed pieces now. Okay, this is probably one of the largest necklaces ever we've, we've found. This is by Sequin, and if you've had any of their pieces, and we've had quite a few, they are definitely big, bold, over the top, and this is no exception. I mean, look at all of the varying strands. And I mean, it's long, it's large, and certainly in charge. Okay, now this one is definitely larger on its own. It is really long. It's by Sarah Coventry. Okay, and here we go. Da, 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 da. And it's got a big old knot. It's got so much going on. Look at all of this. They are not glass, but they are definitely beautiful. We have this gorgeous piece by Premier Design and if it looks familiar we definitely have the earrings that went with this. This is Premier Design as well. These are acrylic. Aren't they beautiful? Still gorgeous. This one is by Freedom and it has the white chain and that rose gold tone to the other. Just beautiful. And this is Express. Nice, long, beautiful chain. And the pendant on this one is just a beautiful circle. All right, we had some smalls. 
This one is not marked, but it had a great look, has that faux turquoise look. This one is Aeropostale. It's really, really cute. This one is Premier Design. It is an open end, so these would actually be the ends. These always terrify me. I know I would lie. I know I would lose this. Uh, this one here is Vita Jewels, and this one is Leah Sophia. Moving on to this beauty, this one is BCBG, and it has the rhinestones and that ombre effect on the tassel. I mean, that is just, that is just cute. It's just cute. All right, this one is by Loft. We have this really long necklace, and then we come down to the little seed beads and like an homage to, you know, the milk glass of, of old. So that's Loft. We had a little bit of everything in here, didn't we? Uh, this one is Avon, and another long one. And these two are very unique that they have the little clips so you can really put them anywhere you like on here. So I, I like the versatility of that. I think that's kind of neat. Uh, this one is Anne Klein and I thought the other two were long. No, no, wait for this one. And it's still going, hang on. And hold on, right? Look at this thing. It is fabulous gives you a lot of options on how you'd like to wear it. Beautiful kind of traditional bracelet by Napier. Shocker, right? It is a little bit lighter, so definitely one of the uh, newer pieces out of their set. This, this little duo is by 1928. We have the bracelet and the necklace. Um, Kind of like an homage to, you know, the Monet and Napier. Here we have another long one. This is Trafari. And this twist, I think it's going to be a little hard to see in the lighting, but it almost has a two-tone effect in it, the way the, they made it. I thought that was really neat. All right. And let's close this box out. Oh, I, I take that back. I have this one like special mention necklace. It isn't marked, but it is such great quality. I'm just not sure if maybe the mark came off. I don't know, but it has a beautiful look and a beautiful feel. Very much for this time of year. Okay, now let's get to the three we're gonna end on. And if you said Monet, yes. We ended up with three nice pieces of Monet in the box. And you know what? We're not seeing anywhere near the nice pieces that we're used to seeing. So these three were definitely appreciated. Um, this is just a real fun, you know, plasticky kind of piece. But the chain is Monet chain. However, this one is Monet of old. This is so heavy and so gorgeous. You know, newer Monet, at least they're still making it, which is a great thing, but newer Monet has a very light feel. This does not. You are going to know it when you wear it. All right, gang, we're gonna end the box on that. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. Until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.